Hello, this is Endo. Welcome back to another video. So the engine sound mods are starting to come in here a little bit, and I wanted to make this video before these start flooding into the workshop. Now, I'm not going to be covering too many sound mods unless there's something very specific and interesting that comes out because it's just too much. But there are sound mods coming out, and right now, at least for this one by Bullbash, he is replacing the small engine sounds. He's replacing the vanilla engine sounds, basically. So you pick what engine you want, I believe, if I'm reading this right. It replaces the sound for the vanilla game. Now, that is probably not the good way to do it, I think, in my opinion. And even though mods are kind of a mess right now, the better way to do this is use the fact that you can take a crankshaft, you can replace the engine sound for that crankshaft, and you can make a new engine sound file mod. So you can add, let's say, I, I, uh, EMD645, okay? So I think, and I'm pretty sure that this adds, you know what, we should check to make sure I'm not lying. All right, so wait, I am not wrong. So it says, do not activate more than one mod that replaces the same engine. So yes, so what he is doing is he is replacing the vanilla sound on the crankshaft. So I suggest, this is my opinion, of course, but I suggest you create a new engine crankshaft that is a mod that makes it sound like that engine because people are going to want a boat to sound like a boat and a plane to sound like a plane. And if you have one engine that replaces the small files and you don't use a different mod or the different sound effect for a plane engine versus a boat engine, you're going to have to be swapping between those engines what you want to hear or overriding them or whatever. But the better way to do it, even though currently the mod interface is a mess, the better way to do it is to make a mod it adds your new sound and your new engine as a new crankshaft and possibly even a um, propeller mod. I've been playing around with it a little bit. I'll show you mine. But um, yeah, so we, I don't think that we want to start replacing the vanilla sound with mods. My opinion, let me know in the comments below what you think, but I think it's a bad idea. I think that we want individual sounds for individual types of engines for the individual type of application. So if it's a train, we want train sounds and we want those engine mods to be for that build. And if they do it right with the workshop, when you download a train, it should download the proper engine sounds. They're still working on that, figuring that out. But for right now, I, I don't think we want to replace vanilla engine sounds. Okay, I beat that dead horse. Let me jump into the game. So I haven't really got my engines to sound all that great yet. There's kind of a, a trick to it that I haven't figured out. So there's four engine levels and each level will blend into the next. Now, the problem I'm having, and I haven't quite figured it out, is after the engine starts going up to speed, even though I might have a different sound effect for that speed, it's also ramping up that engine speed. So I haven't tried it yet, but I think I need to half, half the speed of the fastest engine sound, if that makes any sense. But here's what it sounds like now. Let me just go ahead and start it up. Not that. Let me turn on the air, turn on the air open the door okay and let's turn it on okay so that has a custom starting sound and then it has the normal engine sound now even though even though i have an actual u-boat engine sound effect that i have cut up and sliced and diced i still can't quite get it to sound right so let's let's go a little bit faster and see if we can get it to sound better. Yeah, you can hear the U-boat sound. But it's, it's still a little bit slow. Let's get a little bit into the fast on here. Okay. You can hear it's actually slowing down the sound. So I think I may need to speed up my lower end sounds and then slow down my higher end sounds. I don't know. I haven't tested it. And then also... I've changed the prop back here. You hear the prop? It sounds like a rumbling in the background. That's my new prop sound. So if we get all the way to max speed here, you know, it doesn't sound right. It doesn't sound right. So I'm still working on that. But hopefully I will get that working. And this will be a sound mod where the engine is separate from the vanilla engine, so you will have to build your submarine diesel engines with a diesel block of whatever type of engine is called. I don't know, it's RM something or other. So that's the idea. So I just want to make this quick video because I'm worried about sound mods just being overwrites of our 
you know, our, our vanilla engine mods. So, yeah, I'm not going to beat the dead horse again, but just a thought. Let me know in the comments below if you agree with me on this. I know that some disagreed with the mod pack being separate packs of themes instead of, like, just everything kitchen sink into one mod pack. But that's my opinion, but, you know, you should have your opinion, too. So let me know in the comments below what you think about engine mods. All right, I'm Endo. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. And if you're old here, please hit like or dislike, whatever you think about this video, and leave comments, and I will see you next time.